Okay, now we get to have another resolution on noise. What is this? I don't know. Resolution <laughs> City. Noisy town. Council of living. <laughs> what are you doing here, Maurice? City of Emeryville granting a waiver for noise ordinance to the Pacific Gas and Electric for performing gas main replacement on Hollis Street on Saturday and then and on the night of a date to be determined concerning Pacific Gas and Electric's request to occupy a portion of Hollis Street for the duration of the project. It's right, all right there. It's going to wreak havoc. Yeah. So, um, Mayor Brinkman, uh, members of City Council, uh, PG&E is very anxious to proceed on the reconstruction of a gas main on Hollis Street, located between 59th Street and Powell Street. This gas line is a 30-inch transmission line, similar in vintage to the San Bruno gas line that um, had their issue. Uh, we are, uh, apparently there's an issue with this one block that they want to resolve by reconstructing it. Um, the line is located in the southbound uh, driving lane. Uh, so in order to construct the project, uh, there's going to be some uh, traffic detours that we're going to need to uh, allow. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the project's anticipated to take two months to do. They're, they have a schedule worked out where they could do the project in two months, assuming we can allow for a waiver of the noise ordinance and allowing them to work on a Saturday, um, and also uh, allow them to park their construction equipment and vehicles along the parking lane uh, throughout the duration of the project. Um, there is a real urgency to do this work. Uh, there's a couple issues. Uh, one issue I didn't mention that wasn't mentioned in the staff report is that East Bay Mud is anxious to replace the water line on the same block and also all, all along Powell Street in this area. And they would like to start in the middle of September. So there's a real urgency to get this gas main work completed so that we can let East Bay Mud out there and do the water main work. Um, PG&E has their uh, reasons for wanting to uh, work on the weekend, uh, and they'll explain it further in the staff report. Um, PG&E would like to work on Saturdays between the hours of 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. through the duration of the project, which would be through August and September. And then there'd be one night where they do a cutover where they have to work 24 hours a day, so they would have to have a, a permission to work at night. Uh, this would require a waiver of the noise ordinance. We sent out notices to Elevation 22, so the residents there would be aware of it. Um, and I believe some of the commercial property owners has got it as well. Uh, staff is recommending that we approve this noise waiver. I'm going to let PG&E speak more detail about the project, <laughs> and then uh, we can hear some questions. I would like to introduce Tom Greeno and staff. Needs no introduction. I was going to say that. <laughs> Hello again. Hey, Tom. Right here? Yes. It's been a while uh, since you've been here. Pardon? It's been a while since Yeah, you've been we've been busy doing a lot of these projects, and I've got 33 cities that I, I'm uh, responsible for, and about 20 cities we have uh, projects that are, are part of our safety uh, program. Uh, this one's a little bit different, and I'll, I'll dive into it. Uh, by in first, a couple of introductions. This is Scott White. He's going, he'll be the project manager for this. Rosalind Brown, stand up, please. She's our customer impact person, so she'll be out there visiting one-on-one -on -one with all of the businesses and residents, primarily businesses that are affected by this. And also Todd Four, he'll be the on-site construction supervisor. So we all we all come with uh, with big targets. Um, oops. Let's click it. Put it down on the desk and click it. You can use this arrow. No here. coaching. Down one. Okay. Or there you go. You can either roll this wheel. Or All right. Or Let me give you a little. Um, thank you. A little overview with the what we're looking at out there, and I know um, council member. Um, some of the council members we've um, uh, we've met with, um, especially I think it was yours, council member Davis, your committee that when we first did a, a testing of a lot of this area a couple of years ago. And uh, so some of this may be pretty familiar with, uh, with you. It's called Line 105A, and it's a natural gas transmission line. Serves residents, primarily businesses. Well, it serves residents and businesses of Emeryville. 
this, this area right here, it's a 600 foot section. It's a 30 inch natural gas line under Hollis. Now what happened was there was some construction uh, in that area and the pipe um, suffered from stress. There was, uh, there was a development and uh, construction crew that was out there, not a PG&E crew, but um, uh, there was an overweight uh, crane out there that compressed uh, Hollis Street and then actually caused a little bit of damage to the, uh, to the pipe. Um, the, uh, the pipe segment runs under the southbound lanes for Hollis Street between Powell and 59th. Uh, the, the cause, a lot of people may say, well, this happened actually a little over a year ago. Now what we did since then, we lowered the pressure on that particular gas uh, line. So it's not running at maximum pressure. We don't really need maximum pressure until the winter time when there's a demand for, for a lot of heat. So it's been in the queue to do uh, this particular work and now that time has come. It's about a two month um, uh, project uh, we're hoping to mobilize on July 29th. Uh, there would be some uh, gas venting on uh, July 31st, and then the ultimate um, tie-in would be on October 4th. And I should mention that uh, none of the businesses will be able to uh, backfeed the, the customers in this area, so nobody will be without um, uh, gas at any time. So there will be continuous uh, gas. And then uh, it'll be, once we're uh, finished, about one week to restore uh, the area. And I think uh, Maurice alluded to the uh, location a little bit uh, earlier. Now, as far as traffic control, uh, what we're proposing here is to, uh, for Hollis Street, the southbound lane would be closed between Powell during the construction hours. Uh, and then reopened after hours. The southbound parking lane and right turn lane will be under 24 hour closure through the duration of the project. Now during the working hours, there still is enough, enough room to allow for two, two way traffic. And then uh, after hours, there'll be, enough, uh, there'll be enough capacity to allow for two way traffic. Uh, worst case scenario, if you had a lot of uh, public safety vehicles, fire trucks or, and others. So. Uh, the impacts, uh, the, the neighbors can expect to see standard construction out there, air compressors and jackhammers. And there's the, uh, uh, the traffic control plan that is being, uh, or has been submitted to the city. And I do want to thank uh, the city, especially uh, Karen, for helping us out and streamlining this a little bit because we did uh, come in late in the process. So I really appreciate um, city staff, Maurice and Karen and, and others for uh, accommodating the time frame here. The, as far as the communications plan is concerned, and I understand your public works director has already notified something like 130 uh, property owners about tonight's meeting and also the project, but uh, we also will reinforce that, uh, sending out letters, uh, contacts, uh, phone calls, uh, and again, when, when necessary, and we're willing to meet with every single customer out there, uh, Roslyn will be in a position to help out as far as that is concerned. Uh, again, we have uh, Roslyn who will be the primary customer impact uh, specialist and she's backed up by William Calvin. Both their numbers are on the screen for anybody uh, watching from home that wants to jot down uh, these particular numbers. Uh, we also have a dedicated line just for our gas system and our gas, uh, gas upgrades. Uh, this one uh, will turn out to be a, uh, we tested it, the line is fine, it just became damaged during the construction of the uh, project in that area. So, but regard regardless, we're gonna replace it and it'll be a, a brand spanking new uh, pipeline. Good. Then you have Scott's uh, identification up there, his, his email and uh, my email at the bottom. And that's our presentation. Okay, Tom. I, just my only question would be dust control. I don't, you're not gonna create a lot of dust, are you? Because we've had other projects down there, water line replacements, where we get a lot of complaints from people stirring up dust. Are you going to have dust control in place? Yeah, there will be probably a little bit of dust, but we'll have, uh, uh, it will be controlled and it shouldn't be an impact. Okay. Mm -hmm. Council members have any questions? I don't have any questions. Public comment on this item? The public hearing, excuse me. Oh, public hearing? Any public comment? Nope. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you.
there a motion to move this item? I move this resolution, and uh, I think it's critically important. Uh, you know, we're all familiar with what can happen if you don't take care of this infrastructure. And um, I'm glad to see you here, Tom. I wish you'd have been here a year ago, but you're here now, and we got to move forward. Okay. So I move the resolution. Is a second? Yes, yeah, second. Second. All in favor? Do you have a comment? Uh, my, my only question or comment is about how, again, to prevent something like this from happening um, in the future, if we have construction that damages and causes two months of street closure, how can we um, mitigate that going forward? I will say that when we approve encroachment permits, we're going to have to be more uh, observant on what kind of loads are being put on the street. Yeah. If that can become part of our regular routine, I, I would appreciate that. Call the question. Okay. Would you call the question, Karen? Why don't you do a roll call vote? Councilmember Council Atkin. Aye. Councilmember Davis. Aye. Councilmember West. Aye. Vice Mayor Asher. Aye. And Mayor Brinkman. Aye. 6.3.